Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy back today with another video. Today's video is gonna be a little different. This video is about my uh, how I broke my arm. In my previous videos, you've probably already seen that it's hurt, and I, I think I've actually had someone comment about it, asking me what happened and everything. So this is the video about what happened. Right before we get into this video, I want to make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, and right beside the subscribe button is the post notification bell. Click that to be notified every time I upload a video. I want to give a shout out to my brother. He just made a YouTube channel, just uploaded his first video. His name is Notorious Nate. I have a link to his channel in the description below. But yeah, so I broke my arm. The way I broke my arm was I was in my backyard, and I usually I'm able to do a back handspring, which is a backflip with hands. I'll show you the clip of that. And then from watching other videos like I think Tanner Fox I watch, I watch this guy named Chunky, I watch another guy named Tanner which is one of Tanner Fox's friends. Anyway, I watch other videos and he always teaches his friends how to do backflip so I'm like alright let me try this. So I went to go do the backflip and when I was, I almost landed it. When I, when I was landing, I uh, landed on my wrist, but I okay, hold it with my other hand. But I landed on my wrist, and uh, this is my good hand, but I landed on my wrist and this is what happened when I was landing it went like that onto the ground. and it cracked my radius, which is the bone in this photo. Um, once it happened, I put, I immediately put ice on it. I didn't really think it was hurting anyway, but I didn't want to go to the ER to get it checked because I'd be waiting there all day. It would be terrible. I'd wait out all day. So I ended up just icing it for a long time. We called the doctor. They told me to come to their office in the morning. I was like, I'd rather do that than just go to the ER for a long time for like something that's probably not broken. It ended up being broken. I ended up recording the whole day of what I had to do of going all to all the appointments, getting my x-rays and all that. So, so yeah, here's the clips from what happened in that day, the day after from when I had to go to my appointments and everything. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so this is the day after. Um, yesterday, when I, when, I, like, when I actually broke my arm, I freaking, I just got an ice pack and everything. Cause I didn't, I don't know for sure if it's popped. I just think I just dislocated or it's broken, but I actually think it's broken. And uh, yeah, so this is the day after. I think okay, I'm finally going to get it checked because I should have got it checked yesterday, but I didn't feel like sitting in the ER for a long time. So yeah, we're gonna see what the doctor says and bring you guys with me. So yeah, instead of me going to the ER and waiting for a long time, I chose to just go to my friend's house afterwards. <laughs> it was boring. I didn't feel like sitting at home. Honestly, I don't think you guys know the struggle right now. I, uh, yesterday my shoelace got untied and I haven't tied it yet because I can't. I like, I don't know how to tie my, tie my shoelace with one hand. It's literally impossible. I don't understand how to do it. And driving, like I started getting, like I, I usually drive with one hand anyway. But it is hard when you like doing sharp turns. You have to do it quickly and I can't like help. So yeah, I put this, I put it in this, uh, I think it's a brace or a splint or something like that, just until then, because I called my, I called the doctor and he said, just put it in that until then and then come to my office in the morning. So I said, all right, I'm just waiting to get to his office after I drop my brother off. What is that? Oh shit, what is that? Boy, if you don't get it. Boy, you look like a motherfucking <laughs> So I just uh, just about arrived to my brother's school. Um, now he's he was the one holding the camera. Now I don't know what to do because I think I'm gonna have to hold the camera, or I'm gonna have to like just get like clips, uh, quick clips of like if what see what the doctor does. I hope he actually can fix it because I don't feel like going to the next year. Uh, yeah, so we'll get back to you guys when I get to the doctor's office. All right, so this is the next day. Sorry if the camera's really shaky. I'm using my non-dominant hand because I broke the other. Um, just getting to the doctor's office. He told me to come in, but I'm, there's a lot of so, there was no parking, so I feel like it's really packed in here. Hope not, because I just wanted to come in and out. But like, 
it's not working out. So I'll get back to you guys when he's, uh, see what he says. And if I think he said maybe extras, maybe he could pop it in. I don't know. We'll be back. Not as much. It's more closer. So then, so it's come up here. Any pain right in there? No. And what about right in there? So, oh, that's right. You just almost start getting it going up from there. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. And more pain. More pain. So there's more swelling within this part. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's on the bone. What about in the center? <laughs> okay. And then right in there? Uh, not really. Not that much. Okay, let's come up to this bone here. Yeah, I think that one's good. There's nothing there. No. Nothing back there. Okay. So there is um, there's something called your retinaculum. Yeah. Maybe you sprain the retinaculum, yeah. or maybe there's a, a slight uh, a fracture within the, the bone right in there. Yeah. yeah. So for it to be that painful, then there might be a, a little little fracture in there. What about going like this? <laughs> no. And then what about when I press up here? Oh no, it still hurt. It does hurt? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then it looks like there, there is some connective tissue between the two bones yeah. right in there. So what you should do is um, you should go to the urgent care clinic. You'll be able to get in a lot faster as opposed to going to the hospital. Yeah. So the, the urgent care clinic just down here, they they uh, so let the doctor look at it and um, then the, he'll just uh, write uh, an x-ray uh, script for you. Yeah. And then uh, then just go right next door, get the x-ray done. And that way their, their radiologist will read it. So when it comes to a fracture, you want the radiologist to read it. So the radiologist will read it and then um, and then I'll be able to I'll be able to uh, look up the, the the radiologist report and the images Just in case you didn't hear what he said, he told me to go to some place that um, specializes in like bone fractures and stuff. So I have to go there, they read it, I hope it's not too windy. I go there, they read my, uh, they do that, they give me an x-ray, then they send the file straight to him so he'll know exactly what's, what's wrong and what to do with it. So yeah, I had to go to another doctor's office, gotta wait there, and God man, it's a lot of work. And the worst thing is, I gotta call him to work and be like, uh, I broke my wrist, I can't work today. So I need to figure out what to do with that too, so yeah. So yeah, I found out that I did uh, that I fractured the bone. Um, I'll have the photo of the I'll have the X-ray photo in there. But yeah, he let me take a photo, but I'm seeing if I can get like good photos of it, like high quality photos, like the actual scan. And yeah, so I fractured one of my bones. I can't remember which bone. It's like one of the ones correct, connected to my wrist is a big. There's a fracture in it. So uh, Wednesday, I have to go to the fracture clinic to be uh, to get everything checked out. They have to give me a new splint. Um, yeah. And I'll keep you guys updated with uh, whatever actually happens and what I have to do. Not gonna worry about uh, work. I gotta call work and say I can't come in and give them my dumb reason why. So yeah.